We are back, continuing the story, guys. Last, where we left off, Sunder wanted a break from us. And I am fearing we're getting awfully close to the end of this story. And there's plenty left to do. So we need to level up everyone else since Sunder's fully leveled up. So, uh, dates, 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 dates. Let's go here first, since these are my lowest levels. Kitty, kitty, kitty. You find Pocket sleeping in a sunbeam in the corner of the cafe. His fur looks unbelievably soft. It sounds like he's snoring a little bit. Pet him gently. Pet him firmly. Skirt, skirt his neck. Resist the temptation. I gotta say, skirt his neck. Your fingers sink into the soft, soft fur between his ears and shoulder. Pocket releases a deep exhale and begins purring beneath your hand. Olivia approaches. Hey. hey Lola, who's your friend? Wait, that cat doesn't work here. At the sound, Pocket wakes up with a jump and turns, biting your hand. Ow! Huh? Whoa, he was so cute a second ago. Olivia, you scared them. It doesn't look like you're bleeding. Pocket glares at Olivia. I love cats, but I wouldn't pet strays. It can be very stressful for them. Wow. Grr, he's not a stray exactly. He's my cat. Hiss. Could have fooled me. Pocket licks his paw and rubs his face. <laughs> uh, he's having a little bath. That's the cutest. Pocket stops licking to glare at Olivia. Sorry, I'll leave you two in peace. Yeah, Olivia. Quit it. As soon as she leaves, Pocket makes a small meow. Mew. Meow. Mew. Would you like to give a gift? Let's see, do I have anything for a cat? I don't think any of these are appropriate for a cat. No, I wouldn't then. You decide not to give a gift right now. You stare into his big blue, big yellow eyes. How, where I get blue from? He stares right back, keep staring. You stare until it seems like you're almost falling into another space and time. A cat world. Then he yawns, breaking eye contact, and you remember you're in a cat cafe, actually. Level rank number two, playtime. Enemies take extra damage when hit while immobilized. Enemies are also briefly stunned when immobilized. This is, this is a hard one because stunning them, they won't fight back. So that's a good thing, but Taking extra damage kills them faster. I am going to stun them. He stops, perking up curiously as if to an unheard signal. Something has caught his attention. Watch where he goes, follow him. You follow him as he slinks outside. He slips between slat slates of a fence and escapes you. A few moments later, you hear a... Jeez, what the... A cacophonous racket of hissing and growling. Pocket sprints past at lightning speed. A rough looking street cat steps out of the alley, looks around and goes back inside. Hey, it's Luke, cat version of Luke. You head home. That was strange. All right, let's see. My cat's acting weird, lots of energy. Did you feed him anything? Not me. Oh, okay, well, he's really into fish now. That's so cute. That's adorable. All right. Another date. Going back to the Paradise Lost. You find Sora, Sawyer and Olivia sharing a textbook and comparing notes. Hi. Oh, good. You made it. Olivia, meet Lola. Hey. Oh, we already know each other a little bit. We hung out here, in fact, funny. Well, Lola fits the bill of a gig economy worker who has college education. Yes, I do. He fits the assignment, so let's start the interview. Meow. This cat again. Aw, oh, kitty, we should interview you instead. You're a gig economy worker too. Does he have a degree? I'm not sure a cat cafe counts as a gig. He gets room and board, you know. 
<laughs> the cat wanders away. Huh? Sawyer, how could you be so rude to, to that poor exploited kitty? <laughs> Exploit it. Hey, if you want to start a cat union, I'm on board. But we have homework to do. Okay, okay. Um, So, Lola, how much do you think a college education helps someone work better in the dunge? I don't think it helps at all in the dunge. Why would a college education help? Not at all. Olivia fur furrows her brow a little. Uh... Okay, we know it's a dangerous job, but do you get any benefits from working in the dunge? I meet new people, infinite bubble tea. <laughs> they heal my injuries. <laughs> That's so amazing. Yeah, I get free medical. <laughs> I meet new people, infinite bubble tea. They heal my injuries. <laughs> Er, but they caused those injuries. Do you get health insurance for for other conditions? I don't think so. <laughs> Traditionally, workers get health or life insurance, unemployment pay, minimum wage, or even a company car if the job requires it. Not me. This isn't that kind of job. Yep. Well, okay, but what opportunities for advancement do you have? I try to go deeper. I level up. They call me a sword smoocher. I level up. Sawyer frowns at their notes and exchanges a look with Olivia. Huh. Well, according to this evaluation assi assignment, you are being thoroughly exploited. And the more jobs like yours, the more unstable and fragile our economy is. Well, jobs like mine too. It's not like they pay weapons better. What have I done? <laughs> so now on top of exams and homework, I have to worry about contributing to exploitation oh no don't worry so much you're doing fine mm -hmm. lola's right you know so you're chill it's not your fault you're doing your best and you're still a student once you've graduated you can do whatever you whatever you know so your size and the cat returns jumping up next to them and staring curiously this cat is so annoying i'm sorry this cat is annoying well i'm gonna go I have other homework before my shift. See ya. Olivia waves and gives the cat a neck scratch on her way out. Sawyer thoughtfully pets the cat, frowning. It purrs softly. Are you okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, fine. Nothing new anyway. It's been like this for a while. I just have a big exam coming up and I don't feel ready for anything. But it's fine. I'm fine. I should just focus on the here and now. Which means here and now. I should probably be brave and say. They swallow fingers fidgeting i don't know if this is a date for you but i like you i really like you lover rank three intense all finishers immobilize and knock back that's amazing attack meow 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 haha <laughs> 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 good point kitty but i met lola sorry the cat goes back to sleep so what do you think is it okay that i like you maybe a lot kiss them i like you as a friend more than okay okay it's okay you instinctively lean towards them and feel their breath warm on your lips <laughs> wait not in front of kitties the cat's tail twitches you think maybe she rolled her eyes sir leads you outside they hesitate their hand in yours you can feel them trembling as your lips brush theirs you feel a jolt like an electric surge. Whoa. Wow, I'm glad I took a risk. This is what it's like to enjoy the moment, huh? You spend the afternoon walking hand in hand, pausing for the occasional kiss. Eventually you head home. Jeez, my lips are not exclusive in this game. <laughs> I got an A on the interview assignment and I can't stop thinking about you. How about the kiss? Nice work. You're welcome. Nice work. <laughs> That's it, right? Oh, wait. No, there's more. Whoopsies. I'm pumped. Let's dunge. I'm pumped too. More dates. More dates. More dates. More dates. More dates. More dates. There's a date with this guy over. Oh, that's not a date. <laughs> You find Isaac alone in the sanctuary. I just wanted to help people. I thought I could work within the system to help people and 
impress my father. You don't have to impress that jerk. Some part of me thought being a good sword would impress him too. I'm impressed. You do great. As if he was some kind of ritual or prayer I could practice. Don't don't be too hard on yourself. Maybe our parents are our first gods before we find a real one. Interesting. But you helped me see how much I depend on Vincent emotionally. <laughs> yeah, you had too much, right? Too much. Whoa, I'm at level six. What's this? Enemies hit by Riposte have a chance to become frightened. Enemies hit by Riposte have a chance to bleed. I want them to bleed. And how much I didn't need to. I could become more independent and be myself. That's right. Be yourself. We haven't known each other for very long, but you're already an important part of my life. Thank you, Isaac. I guess I trust your opinion more than anyone else's at this point. Thank you so much. I mean, I've tried beating investors at their own game. That doesn't work. So what's the best way to use what time and money I have left to help fix income inequality? Local activism, political influence, educate the masses. No idea. Educate them. Education for everyone always helps. True, Verona U is an up-and-coming institution. Maybe their journalism department needs a boost. Speaking of things that drains your finances, do you think you'll ever want a kid be a father to someone? Probably. That's what I thought. But now this whole thing with Vincent has me thinking. Parents have such power over their children. It's terrifying, but such a gift. You'd make a wonderful father, but I wonder if I could be as strong as you. I suppose we'll discuss it in the years to come if things work out. Either way, I'm glad we'll have each other for support. This summer has been so chaotic. You've been a comforting constant, my rock. Never change. Never change, Lola. He leans into you with a smile on his lips. You share a soft kiss. You set, can sense an urgency tensing his shoulders and Let's hips. Go somewhere more private, shall we? Whoa! Well, where are we going? Uh, <laughs> to the douche? We're in a church right now. You know that, right? Leads you home to his pet house suite. I'll open a bottle of Bordeaux. Oh. And I bought some Belgian chocolate you might like. I love chocolate. Do you mind if I get a bit more comfortable? I have a bathrobe you could borrow. A bathrobe? What is going on? <laughs> I don't like these options at all. <laughs> let me unbutton that. <laughs> let's just cuddle. Uh, Absolutely. Let, yeah. Bathrobes are perfect for that, don't you think? I, I guess. You enjoy a quiet evening together. In the morning, he awakens with gentle kisses from your temple down to your jaw to your shoulder. Good morning. And welcome to the rest of our lives. Well, assuming we can survive whatever's going on with Eric. I'm making eggs, if you'd like some. Do I continue sleeping or breakfast? Continue sleeping. You sleep in. Your eggs will be ready when you want them. Yes! I love eggs. <laughs> you share cozy morning before heading home. You have reached maximum level, level with Isaac. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh. It's sad. My favorite fencing student is leaving Verona Beach soon. Of course, you're more than just a student to me, but I'll mi still miss our lessons. Me too. I'll come back soon. I hope so. There's still more? They, saw, they say distance makes the heart grow fonder. I'd prefer less painful methods personally. Good thing I have some healing potions left over. It's a chocolate. Oh, come on, uh, I keep doing that. Where is he? I'm glad we still have some time together before you go, even if that katana creature is on the loose. How does he know about the katana creature? Did he see him? I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall at all. What other date do I have? My love, Valeria. Jake is at the studio talking to Valeria when you arrive. Hi. Hey, Lola. Valeria gives you hand a squeeze and doesn't look away from your eyes when she says, say hi, Jake. Huh. Hi, Jake. Valeria glares at him till he drops his gaze. I thought we were going to try and be friends with each other. 
I say both of you at the museum job, didn't I? Should count for something, especially since I wasn't invited. Ugh. That was my decision, Jake. You must have expected it with the way you've been acting. I'm a Rose of Venus, Valentine. You should have told me about it. There's a moment between them. You almost feel like you're intruding. <sighs> you're right. I should have said something. I just wanted to show Lola what we do, though it turned into a disaster. I had a great night. Fewer cops next time. It was a one-time experience. I had a great night. Being a Rose is exciting, but usually not that exciting. Jake shoves his hand into his pockets and clears his throat to catch your attention. <sighs> I have something to tell you, both of you. Huh? I spoke to just my sister, and she wants you back, Val. What? What? I'm just going to stay silent. Jack, Jake eyes you curiously, as if expecting you to interject before continuing. Not as what we were before, as partners. She wants us to be the Roses of Venus again. You, me, Jess, and him, too. Ooh, me, too? It takes a, a moment before you realize he's gesturing at you. You look at Valeria, and she looks as shocked as you feel. What? You're important to Val, and you can keep a secret. Jake grins his sharp as a knife grin and cocks an eyebrow. Yeah. So, what do you say? Want to join the Roses of Venus? Yeah. A look of relief passes over Jake's face, and he gives you a genuine grin. <laughs> you won't regret it. We're going to be amazing together. Um. Don't let Jess get carried away. We're staying in Verona Beach for now. I have a life here. Tell her that. Yeah. Tell her I'm happy and tell her I'm in love. Jake looks between the two of you and he shakes his head. Yeah. I'll tell her, take care of yourself, Valentine. He returns and gives you a gruff nod. And you too. Woo, yeah. The bell above the door rings as Jake departs, leaving just you and Valeria in her studio. How does it feel being a Rose of Valentine? Not all that different, strange. It's the big time, baby. She smirks. Huh? Maybe it'll feel more normal when you have a paintbrush in your hand. Although, we might have to wait a while to have another adventure. At least until the cops stop looking in our direction. Valeria looks toward the door where Jake was standing moments before. Jake and Jessica. The roses of Venus. All of that messed me up for a long time. Oh, it did? Moving here. Painting. Making new friends. Falling in love again. It helped me heal. That's fantastic to hear. Her hands find yours, fingers intertwined as she leans into you. You share a kiss easily without thinking or hesitation, as if you'd already done this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Woo! Done so a thousand times. <sighs> she releases a little sigh into your lips and you feel her smile. I finally feel ready for something new. Sounds like you don't want to be part of the roses anymore. Love rank six. Oh, let's see. Hit and run, rolling hurts nearby enemies. That's fantastic. Do damage in an area automatically to end at an end of a row. That's fantastic too. So where I row, I do damage, but rolling hurts nearby enemies. That's fantastic. Either way, it's good. Valeria ducks behind the counter before you can answer and puts out brushes and paints. Do you mind if I sit and paint you oh. just for a little while? Are we having a titanic moment? Do you want me to strip right here and lay down on the couch? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you sit for her, watching as the line between Valeria's eyebrows crinkle in concentration. <laughs> A warm silence is interspersed with laughter as she brings you to life on her canvas. Ciao. Eventually, you head home. You have reached maximum love level with Valeria. Wow. Valeria. I don't know where this game's gonna end. I'm kind of sad it's ending. We've been through some crap, huh? I'm pretty confident no ducks will ever come between us. Or I mean, other humans. They also won't. It's a nice feeling trusting again. 
I won't let you down. Don't let me down. I won't let you down. Even if you did, I wouldn't let you get away that easy. You might be leaving Verona Beach soon, but I'm a traveler too. I'll find you. Don't go without saying goodbye, okay? Let me know if you want to pop back in the dungeon sometime. All right, there's a couple of things I gotta, I gotta do now, right? Are there any more dates? Capulet Beach. Ha have I, have I gone here at all? Let's see. I think the only place is to meet my cuz here. Something's going on here with that s katana s serpent monster thingy. The weapon shop is locked, but there's lights on inside. Psst. Psst. You look around, you don't see anyone. I'm pretty sure it's Jesse. Over here. You spot Jesse hiding behind a car. You duck into a shadow and join him. This is ridiculous. What are we doing? Shh. He's coming out. Okay. You hear the shop door open and take a peek. You see Eric and his friend conferring. Repeat your orders once more. I don't want any mistakes this time. Well, mistakes? <sighs> Kill? No. No killing. Come on. Focus. I'm glad I double checked. Watch. Yes. Watch Lola. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. A cookie for you. What kind of cookies do you like? Macaroon? Then attack Lola. Oh my goodness. No. No? No. What about Orioles? Ah, this isn't going to work at all, is it? So he created a weapon to try to obey him, and the only one desires to attack. <laughs> I love, I love. You, yes, I know you love me. I created you. It's only natural. I love to kill. Oh. Well, that's unacceptable. I made you to obey me, and I don't want you to hurt anyone. Lies. Lies. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, everyone has thoughts, but I don't actually want to hurt anyone. Lies. Holy smokes. Ugh. Oh, fine. Come back inside so I can fix you. You're in no state for a mission. The stranger hisses and turns to look straight at you. No. Target acquired. Mazamune. Inside. Now. How he s s noticed me so, so quickly. Mazamuze smiles widely at you, staring openly. Eric follows his gaze and his eyes widen. Uh. Lola and Jesse, what are you doing here? Uh. Uh, hey, Eric, we just, uh, we happen to be in the neighborhood. It was Jesse's idea. You've been weird. You made this thing? Uh, you've been weird or you made this thing? Uh, one or the other. You made this thing? His name is Masamune. Yeah, but yes, he's been a work in progress. Aren't we all? Ugh. He has some flaws in his design and some serious problems. <sighs> Don't we all? Stop saying that. Now, as it happens, I could use your help. I put a lot of effort gathering the materials and smithing him. But now I think it's time to deactivate Masamune. How? Why? How? Well, I didn't think to put in a self-destruct button, if that's what you're asking. Mm. That was your first mistake. I always put one of those in my Frankenstein monsters. Genius takes time. I have a smithing technique that'll make me rich, right? Hmm. I know there'd be kinks to work out in the design, but I thought they'd be the sexy kind of kinks. What a weirdo. <laughs> I had hope. It wouldn't come to this. Sorry, old boy. Eric pats the monster's shoulder awkwardly. The katana creature continues staring at you hungrily, shrugging away Eric's hand. He wants to kill me. Uh... So now you want us to kill it or uh, huh, him? The thane's attention snaps to Eric. <laughs> no. Ah. Ixnay on the ill K. Masamune slashes. Oh, er uh, Eric slicing open his arm and chest, exposing flesh beneath. What? Ah! Eric shrieks and faints as Masamune melts into a nearby shadow. J Jesse dials 911. Yes, there's an emergency. We need an ambulance. 
542 Taobat Lane. Help staunch bleeding. Chase the monster. Uh. I think Eric will be fine. I don't need to help him. I'm going to chase the monster. You take a single step after Masamude and stop frozen. You remember, you don't have a weapon. A frustrated curse comes to your lips, but you swallow it with a familiar feeling of helplessness. I'm dying. I can feel it. My life force slipping away. I give my weapon shot to you, Lola. <laughs> take good care of it. Remember me. Nah. Dude, you're going to be fine. Stop the dramatics. No. You don't know that. Maybe I'll die, be dead any second. Then, how will you fit feel? An ambulance pulls up. Remember me. A paramedic ushers him into the ambulance and drives away. Well, that could have gone better. At least we found something out. That katana creature on the loose, though. We better be careful until it's found. Hmm. Why did Eric want it to watch you anyway? He's a stalker. I just want to go home. He's a stalker? Uh, I guess he is, isn't he? Jeez, disturbing. Well, you don't have to interact with him anymore. He went way over the line. Keep yourself safe, okay? And I will too. Except the dude, I guess. That's just work. Are you going to be okay at home alone? I'm so sorry I introduced you to that guy. At least you have really good locks on the door. I paid top dollar. But I can't stay on the couch, just in case, if it help you sleep. If you don't, no need. See ya. All right, then. Talk to you later, cuz. No need. I'm, I'm good. You head home. You feel your heart leaping up into your throat, thudding, urgent. You lock the door firmly, and then double check and lock it again to be sure. You head, your head feels cloudy, foggy, with thoughts that leap ahead of you faster than you can catch them. You saw Eric get attacked. What would Katana do next? What is he capable of? No answers come to mind. Only questions. What is this music? Man. You putter around and waste time until the clock says you really, really should try to sleep. <clears throat> you lie down reluctantly, bracing yourself for hours of tossing and turning. You take a few deep breaths, curling up into yourself. Eventually, you fall into the darkness of deep sleep. In the morning, you find Jesse anxiously scrolling on his phone. Hey cuz, sorry, I let myself in. There's a bit of an emergency. You might want to sit down. Oh, you're already sitting. Good, oh, uh, so nobody's answering their phone. Mm. Isaac, Sunder, Valeria, nobody. All my weapon friends are weirdly silent this morning. What? Yo, I'll be so mad if they're all dead right now. It's still early morning. Are they dead? What does that mean? <sighs> I don't know. I was hoping to figure it out before you woke up. But here we are. This is bad weird. What if what if Katana got to all of them somehow? Katana was watching me with all of them. So it's highly possible. I don't think Valeria is your friend, Jesse. I introduce you to Valeria. Jesse jumps at the knock on the door. Don't answer. Who is it? Uh, don't worry, the lock will hold. I got a lifetime guarantee from the locksmith. Jesse looks through the peephole. Uh -huh. Oh, woo, it's just Samantha. Samantha, I, I get to see Samantha. She's probably a little weirded out too. I'll be right back. I don't get to see her. He unbolts the door and steps out. You quickly lock the door after him. Look out the peephole. I gotta look out the peephole. You see an empty stairwell. Weird. Where'd Jesse go? You realize despite all of your striving, you're alone. Everyone is gone. It's my fault. How do I fix this? You remember all the times you pushed someone away or made yourself less likable. You laughed at the wrong times. You asked the wrong questions. You were too quiet or too loud to fix it. You'd have to become a totally different person. Is that even possible? You hear a hissing and jump to realize Katana is standing next to you with a smirk. Shh. I can fix this. I'll destroy you. I can fix this. You grow in power and strength as you decide this is a fight worth having. A fight worth winning. 
Katana shrinks back from your newfound resolve. You rush to meet Katana and demand answers for your missing weapon friends. He melts into darkness. You chase him for what seems like a long time until you're panting with exertion. You think I'm still dreaming? You wake up with a trace of sweat beating on your back. Yeah, it was a dream. Was that just a dream? Though a series of pinches, you determine that dream is over and you're really awake now, probably. You take a deep breath and feel clarity through your clarity thrill through you. From scalp to fingertips, you take another deep breath. Whatever happens, you're ready. Okay, <clears throat> so that was all a dream. My friends are okay. We got to do something about the, this monster on the loose, especially before you fly home. Gonna be the end of summer before you know it. When is my flight? No. What is my flight? Too soon. So we gotta hurry a little bit. I'll try to grill Eric. He's in the hospital, but that means he can't run away. I've been taking blacksmithing classes. Maybe I can use that. We'll let you know if I find out anything. Thanks, cuz. Thanks. So, uh... Yeah, apparently, I have the stuffiest, runniest nose right now, which I didn't have moments ago. But, no matter what your time zone may be, guys, catch me in the next video. Have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.